What's up, y'all, man? You're watching the PA News Network right here on Adana the PA's YouTube channel, where every single week we bring you the latest and greatest PA and healthcare related news and content. <gasps> so come back every Tuesday. You ready for the news? <laughs> Let's go. So apparently the number of certified physician assistants is surging. This article right here on healthleadersmedia.com says that growth in the number of physician assistants is robust according to the latest statistical profile published by the National Commission of Certification of Physician Assistants. Goes on to say that by 2032, the physician shortage is expected to grow up to about 122,000 doctors. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics project 31% growth in the PA profession from 2018 to 2028. Whoa! So if you about to be a PA or you want to be a PA in sometime between the next 10 years, there's room for you. The National Commission on Certification of Physician Assistants certified 9,287 PAs in 2018, the highest number since the NCCPA began issuing certification in 1975. PA certified in 2018 are the youngest cohort with with 72.5% of them under 30 years old. Now, don't get this twisted, you guys. There's plenty of PAs that are over 30 years old and becoming certified and stuff, too. But apparently, the younger crew is coming. They coming. If you want to read more about this particular article or any other articles, please be sure to check the prescrip prescription box. <laughs> we, need to, we need to start calling it the prescription box. No, the description box below. Check it out, all right? Should the physician assistant name be changed? PA's concern about their title has been prevalent for some time. In fact, it prompted AAPA to launch a title change investigation a year and a half ago in May 2018. So what are the arguments in favor of the name change. The most talked about option, of course, is physician associate. In fact, multiple medical schools, including Yale and the University of Oklahoma, already uses this term. Many PAs and other health professionals have offered their take on the issue. A quick Google search shows that PAs seem to be generally in favor of the switch. Let us know right now in the comment section, just to get a discussion, just to quit a quick Adana the PA poll. Are you in favor of a name change or you really just don't give a crap? What are the arguments against physician associate? In the against camp are many people who argue it won't spread awareness of PAs, capabilities, and will only create unnecessary red tape. For example, laws that specifically reference physician assistants will need revision and research into the profession, which will require looking up both the old and new titles. Oh, no, little bit of research. <laughs> so forget change, because people got to do a little bit of research. PA schools and organizations would have to spend money on rebranding themselves as well. So you in favor, let us know right down in the comment section below. Today's social media shout out of the week goes to Bill. Neuro Hospital is PAC. If you guys are looking for another PA to follow someone from a different perspective, from the Neuro Hospital's perspective, be sure to check her out. Follow her on IG. Tell her down to the PA sent you. And that's it, man. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'm out. Peace.